you haven't witnessed the fastest LLM inference in the town, you should definitely go check out Cerebras. Cerebras at this moment, today when I test it out, it has 1828 tokens per second. This is Llama 3.18 billion parameter model served at 16 bit precision. And they're very open about the precision and it is quite insane the fact that they can serve a model at this kind of a speed. For giving a context, this is a Grok, which is supposed to be the fastest before. And Grok serves Llama 3, 8 billion parameter model. I think it is 8 bit precision. And this is 1200 tokens per second. So it's double the precision, latest model, and they're crushing in speed. Now we are going to learn about this company Cerebras. They've got an interesting background and they've also released an interesting blog post explaining how they are doing it. First of all, if you were to see this company, this is not a brand new 2020, 2024 startup that is like uh, riding the AI hype. This is a company that was founded in 2015. And interestingly, the guys who founded this company worked together at a previous startup, C Micro, that was acquired by AMD. AMD, what are you doing with that? I don't know. So 2020, uh, 2012, uh, they sold the company to $334 million. And 2015, in three years, probably they must have had some kind of an agreement. Uh, they started a new company called Cerebras. And since then, they've been raising funds and they've been releasing an architecture or a, let's say a platform, it's called wafer scale engine now there are some interesting details about wafer scale engine in fact back in 2022 when uh, gpt neo x20 billion parameter model these things were like uh, quite a thing so they had systems that could train and uh, run big models and they have had uh, systems uh, cs1 cs2 and now i think they've got like cs3 so Basically, what they've got is uh, they've got a system that can uh, combine everything that you need in an AI chip together in single architecture. So you typically in chips, what you see is you see the memory component uh, separately and you see the compute component separately. So there is always this communication bottleneck, the memory bandwidth. So this is the diagram of NVIDIA H100. What they have done is Cerebras Wafer Scale Engine 3 is combine everything together. I think this is kind of what Apple is doing. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not like a risk expert or a, I'm not a, a visual VLSA expert. But in short, uh, they've combined everything together. So that means instead of having three terabytes memory bandwidth, you're going to have 21 petabytes. It's going to be ridiculously, extremely faster. So Cerebra solves memory bandwidth bottleneck by building the largest chip in the world. And there was a Wired article I saw, they had like literally a very big chip, storing the entire model on chip. With our unique wafer scale design, we are able to integrate 44 GB of SRAM on a single chip, eliminating the need for external memory. In this case, when they mean external memory, it's, uh, it's not like a hard disk or something, it's just a memory that stays outside of the compute and for slow lens linking external memory to compute. In total, WSE, Wafer Scale Engine 3, has 21 petabytes of aggregate memory bandwidth, that is 7,000 that of an H100. It is the only AI chip with both petabyte scale of compute and petabyte scale memory bandwidth. So you've got compute, uh, like the memory bandwidth, at the same pace, so you don't have any kind of a bottleneck there. So making it ideal for a high speed inference. So they also explain about, you know, why LLMs are slow. For example, they need to figure out things uh, sequentially. Um, I mean, these are auto regressive models. So they have to go one by one and figure out. And inference is a memory bandwidth bound problem. A entire model has to be sent to generate one word. So even if you need only one word, you need the entire model for that. So you send the entire model, you have to load the entire model and then just figure out the next word when you give quick as an input. And this is exactly how they're solving it. So this is a four times of wafer scale engines you can see here, and that can have a 176 GB of unified memory, which can easily hold 140 GB of memory. And they are very explicit about using 16 bit model weights as the highest accuracy or like the what they're serving. 
this has been a controversy recently a lot of api providers are going ahead and then not sharing what is the precision in which they are serving the model they just want to beat the speed um, so they just serve something you never know what is the uh, accuracy what is the precision at which they are serving the model so they have uh, cerebras has been open about the model serving accuracy another interesting fact is that they are comparing the cost between h100s so cerebras versus h100 cost per million tokens they are saying cerebras is 60 cents that's it while nvidia h100 hyperscale cloud might cost close to Three dollars. Um, I think they are using the price based on Microsoft Azure. So this is insane. Like um, you have got extremely faster API or um, a chip LLM service provider that is charging you less, that is giving you faster uh, tokens, and they have got also the third party industry uh, wide uh, metric uh, measurement that uh, says. how fast they are they faster than grok they are faster than everything else anyways i found it quite interesting and uh, to learn more about them but if you want to use their api it's currently under wait list so you cannot directly go use their api artificial analysis this an independent party i guess they just give you information about the tokens per speed a second after them evaluating so grok is somewhere here and cerebras is somewhere here and if got everybody else like all of them coming here and there like fireworks together ai uh, together ai data breaks perplexity and all these so now enough of talk i'm going to just quickly go ahead and then show you what i've got so we are going to like initially i asked create a next js project repo a project to create a flappy bird game so i'm going to clear this we're going to start fresh and uh, by default uh, we have got the 3.18 billion parameter llama model but you can also select like the 3.170 billion parameter model and i've got grok as well so grok is available here if you want to use and again you have got a bunch of models at grok i think the main reason i would prefer grok today is uh, because grok still has managed to show that they can uh, onboard a lot of people and uh, cerebras i'm not sure if that is the case but what we are going to do now is we are going to just simply the first thing i'm going to say give me a code next js code to create a supermarket pos application cool i'm going to paste the both here and i'm going to first send it to grok and then here so I already sent it here. As you can see here, maybe Grok is taking time because I'm on the queue. Um, so the model right now, it has taken 443 tokens per second. The AWS takes for 8 billion parameter model 90 tokens per second, while Cerebras gives you the same 8 billion parameter model 1800. The time difference is huge. I'm going to. somehow stop this i don't want to be on queue so maybe i'll go ahead and then select the default model that they've got the 3 billion model itself and again here also i'm going to clear the chart and i'm going to go ahead with the 3 billion parameter model so this is llama 3.1 and this is a llama 3 8 billion parameter model so there is a difference in the model um this is kind of the state of the art at this point from meta and uh, this is one version or one iteration old and i'm not sure the precision um at which they are serving here assuming that this is 16 bit so i'm going to go ahead and ask the same question again give me a next js app for supermarket pos application application copy the same thing paste it here send it send it and as you can see here in both the cases it started generating it and the project is already completed so Seventeen, uh, almost eighteen hundred, thousand seven hundred and eighty-seven tokens, and here in this case, thousand two hundred tokens. This is insane. Um, the fact that uh, the round trip time is two point two seven seconds here, and if we go here, the round trip time is one point two seven. So it's a much faster time. The latest model, and it is super cool. So this is going to be a revolutionary for agentic tasks. is going to be insane for a summarization task it is going to be extremely helpful for a lot of different use cases including retrieval augmented generation 
but I'm definitely looking forward to see how Cerebras can scale it. Um, and like I said, even the API is not available widely. You have to join a waiting list and use it while Grok is completely different. And uh, Grok has also lived up to the hype. So they came with the hype, but they've lived up to the hype. Cerebras is not a new company. It's a old company, but can they sustain for a longer period at large scale? Um, let's see for a, at a developer market. So we can see that they've done a bunch of things with the uh, enterprises with supercompute and all the other kind of stuff, especially in pharma, GSK, AstraZeneca. But can they do similar stuff with the consumer world? Um, wait to see it. But this is quite amazing and I wanted to share with you. Go ahead and try it out at inference.cerebras.ai. See you in another video. Happy prompting.